Making a sequel to Gladiator was always going to be hard, because not only is it just a great movie and therefore a very tough act to follow, but the first one is what I would call perfectly complete. Like, it is the entirety of the story it was trying to tell. So before I saw Gladiator 2, I was pretty confident that it was going to be bad. Having now seen it, that was a very okay movie. Not unenjoyable, just somehow, like, totally weightless. I feel like they tried to have two separate character backstories for Lucius at the same time. At the beginning, he hates Rome, and it seems like he's pretty mad at his mom for just abandoning him. Like, the first time he and his mom ever meet, he's, like, basically disowning her. And that seemed pretty justified, because, like, the movie literally has him ask the question to her, like, hey, so when you sent me away, why didn't you come with me? And then she's just like, I couldn't. So I didn't really have a lot of sympathy for her in this situation, and so I was like, yeah, guy who I cannot stop confusing for Draco Malfoy, absolutely, disown her. But then, like, literally one scene later, he's like, now that I've found you again, I just can't bear to lose you. And it's like, yeah, I guess the five seconds of interaction with her was the healing balm that his childhood trauma really needed. And then by the end of the movie, he's like, yeah, that's right, I'm Lucius, and I'm the son of Maximus, and I'm proud to be Roman, goddammit. And I've always said this. But didn't you say, like, ten minutes ago how angry you were at Rome because they're, like, conquering everything, and also because they killed your wife, and that was, like, your entire character motivation up to this point? I never said that shit and anyone who says I did is lying, which is not very Rome of them to be quite honest with you. On the extremely corporate sequel scale, this was better than most of the ones I've seen, but there are so many moments in this movie where it's like, this is such a product. The way every single person in this movie has such a groveling love for Maximus, it's like, yes, we get it. He was the protagonist of the first one, but like they put his sword and armor on the wall of the gladiator quarters and they wrote, what we do in life echoes in eternity above it, like it's his employee of the month wall plaque at Applebee's. I feel like the beauty of the first movie is that it was trying to tell all of its story just right there. It was about this dude who had essentially nothing left to lose and a strong set of principles, and it feels like at the end of that movie, he just leaves it all out there in the Colosseum. He kills the Emperor, he tells the people, hey, this shit needs to change, you guys gotta do this a different way, and then he dies. And that feels like that could have just been the end of it. But then this movie takes place less than 20 years after the first one, and they've actually upgraded to two evil emperors now, and then all the stuff happens in this movie, and the two evil emperors get killed, and Lucius is like, things have to change now, and then the movie ends. And it has the balls to use Now We Are Free from the original soundtrack, which feels completely completely cheap and unearned at the end of this mild sandwich of a movie. And Rome is in the exact same situation as it was at the end of the first one. So by making this movie, you basically say that Maximus's sacrifice didn't do shit, and then you also didn't do shit. So like, my point is, why even make this movie? What sucks is that before I saw this, I was pretty sure you couldn't make a sequel to Gladiator, and now, I'm actually not so sure. I think they maybe could have done something with some of the ideas in this movie, but it seems like they were so much more interested in cashing in on the nostalgia people have for the first one than they are in actually, like, telling an interesting story. If you wanted to make a movie about Rome, then make one, but you wanted that sweet, sweet gladiator money, so you made kind of like an unrelated sequel, and then you just kind of said, Okay, now that I've nitpicked this movie for like an hour, here's what I'm gonna say. The action scenes were pretty fun. I think subliminally, I always wanted to see Russell Crowe eat a monkey in the first one. I just didn't know I wanted that until this movie awakened that part of me. Denzel Washington is good in literally everything. Of course he's good in this movie. I feel like at this point, when you write a role with a certain level of like charisma and a certain pace of dialogue, Denzel Washington just appears on the screen in front of you. It felt like this role was written for him and he did great. Paul Meskel was actually pretty sick as Lucius. He has a really cool voice, so I feel like it's easy for for him to be a badass. I also really like the way that his fighting style was kind of different than Maximus's in the first one. He was a lot scrappier, like he got a lot more brawlery with it, and I love that. There was also a lot more gore in this one than there was in the first one, which I feel like some people are like really into. I was just kind of indifferent to it, but it was noticeable how much bloodier the action scenes were. Overall, not an unenjoyable way to spend two and a half hours. I just feel like it was not good enough to warrant making a sequel to a really, really good movie that didn't need one. Five and a half out of 10.